This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Hi guys, it's been a while that I don't upload videos here on YouTube. Sorry, but the last three months have been really intense. So it's time to share with you the latest news from the Objects Link project. In these last three months, I have designed the Objects Link packages. I have developed the first PCB panel to simplify the production of the kits and finally I designed a version of Objects Link 1.6 for applications that require a very good coverage of Wi-Fi signal. Also, I wanted to let you know that you can buy an Objects Link kit on Tindy. You can find the link in the description. So, let's start our way by talking about the new boxes. First of all, I designed these boxes with a very minimalist design. As you can see, I only put the logo in the top side of the box. It opens this way by sliding the cardboard. The PCBs are protected by two layers of ESD foam, along with a sheet of tissue paper that wraps around the boards. Obviously, this is the first prototype, of course, I could improve the box in the future, but to sell the first kits will be fine. In addition, each box will have the sticker logo of Objects Link. So, I hope you like it, let me know what you think and what you would improve. Ok, now let's move on on the first PCB panels I develop. So, to optimize the production of Objects Link boards, I decided to develop a PCB panel. In this way, it's more simple to assemble the PCB manually also if the final goal is to use a pick and place machine to do this. So, the idea is to improve the entire PCB production process, and for now I develop only the Objects Link 1.6 panel to make a test. For this first panel I decided to design it manually, but it's possible to use a plugin on KiCad to automatically generate the panel, just starting from the single PCB of your project and it saves a lot of time. Instead, if you decide to develop a PCB panel for your project and you don't want to develop it with a CAD software, you can use the service of PCBWay that will design for you the PCB panel. You only need to upload the Gerber file of your project and write the number of PCBs you want for each panel. So here is the final result of PCB, I'm very impressed. As you can see the boards are connected together by mouse bytes, they are a line of tiny holes. And here is how I assembled and soldered the PCBs. For sure in the future I will have to use a pick and place machine because assembling all boards by hand is very complex and time consuming. Finally, I would like to talk about the latest version of Objects Link. It's called Objects Link 1.6 RF. 
This version has been requested by some of you on Instagram. This model of JaxLink is designed for all applications that require a good signal coverage. In fact, with this model you can use the PCB antenna or you can install a 4 gain antenna via the mini coaxial connector. And this is all guys, these were the main news of JaxLink project, thank you for watching this video until the end, you can find several useful links such as the github repo of the project below, and see you next time!